Dominic, attack of the adult babies. I can ask you where the story came from. What was the genesis of it? It's autobiographical. <laughs> and <laughs> um, uh, well, it, it just became, uh, I think the imagery and um, we already had a story attached and the, and the fact that we're looking for new monsters, you know, zombies, thingies. And, um, and, and I just thought like adult babies was a good image and, you know, big fat men in nappies. And uh, attractive nurses in suspenders running around a big manor house, and, and we just—it was just stinks of Englishness and Britishness, and I quite like that, you know. So, yeah. and I'm thinking you're working with your wife. Um, so the research—did you research together? Because I'd hate to think what she would find on your computer. Well, it was more to do with the. Uh, well, you have to be careful. Even putting in a sack of the adult babies now, you have to be careful because what the Im don't press images because it comes up and the videos are awful, you know. So, I mean, really, truly, eye watering shit, you know. So, um, but uh, <laughs> the, um, yeah, it was more to do with imagery and that. There's different levels of it. So there's like there's adult babies that are um, like um, just like to be dominated. And they, and they were like, say, so I was in touch with a few saying, well, you know, are you, are you picking on us? Are you doing that? I was going, no, no, I just like the imagery. But then there's a definitely darker, like, back street side to the adult babies, you know. So, yeah, you know, so you think. You were, you were talking about um, sort of animation, uh, yeah. and we've got Clamation. Clamation? Yeah, Lee Harcastle. Like, Cle yeah. Please come in. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Tell me more about that. Claymation is just animation with plasticine, clay. The coin was turned by Will Vinton back in the 80s. Um, I really like just describing my work as Claymation. People seem to understand it straight away. Um, it's just it's a, bit, it's a bit of a long story how I got involved into claymation and everything, but um, me and Dom crossed paths and um, we kind of try and collaborate wherever we can. So this is like one of those moments, and I've got like quite a big sequence in this film, all done in clay animation. Are you, are you allowed to elaborate? Is it going to spoil the story if you talk a little bit no, more? I, I think, um, like I mentioned before, like I'm a massive fan of Lee's, and Lee has like 50 million followers on YouTube. He's like a proper like online star. Which he would hate me saying because he's really modest, but I'm just a massive fan of his, and 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 so we, we became friends on like the festival kind of circuit and and then beyond, uh, and and just uh, and I think like we we had a, a we had a tag at the end of Bates where yeah, the, the yeah. secret ending. I just thought it's not good enough to have it at the end. We wanted it right in the middle of the film, and so just as the um, just as the film is kind of taking a turn at the 80 percent mark, we've got a bit of exposition to put across. And it was the perfect place to like leap from this area to this area in the film, and Lee's section just does it beautifully and horribly and just exciting. And it's, it's just it's brilliant, and it seems to be that every single thing he does just gets better and better and better and better. You know, so yeah. But Attack of the Adult Babies was yes. this a story that you just couldn't turn down? Absolutely, it was exactly that. I, I don't think he even read the script. Dominic um, sent me an email and said he's working on a new project. And it went along the lines of Attack of the Adult Babies about, um, you know, giant baby locked away in a cellar that was turning stools into golden nuggets. And I was just like, mate, I am in. Let me have a part. And, uh, I mean, we're, we're, uh, Dom, Dominic's previous track record, I mean, he is a great filmmaker, isn't he? Absolutely, yeah. I did Before Dawn with him before that. And as I was just saying down there, it's not really uh, work for me working with him, it's uh, it's just good fun. And because he's an actor as well, he, he totally gets it and you, there's, a, I imagine, a trust. Uh, absolutely, you. yeah, absolutely. And not, not only that, it's uh, I think when you work with a friend as well, th there's no bullshit there, you know, excuse me, excuse me language, but you, you, there, there's that, that enhances that trust even more. Um, and the character that you're playing, what what was it about him? What was it about him that, that, that you wanted to play? I, that was what was offered. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a choice between three or four, but uh, yeah, but that was it, you know. Dare I ask, do you get to wear a nappy? I don't, unfortunately, no. Neither are snouty nors either. Yeah, there was no scat play for me, unfortunately. Is it interesting for you to think that there is a subculture of people who actually do like that kind of fetish, I suppose? Is it what? Uh, th 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 these is people that... Is it interesting to know? And <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, that's that's gone on for generations, aren't there? There's pockets of all sorts for everyone. Um, so, um, I don't think they'll... Uh, well, I'd be very surprised if there's anything quite like what goes on in this film. I can well imagine. <laughs>
certainly an exciting film to be a part of as well. Oh, it's so exciting. I, I loved reading the script initially when I was sent it. I was like, I cannot put this down. Um, and so, yeah, to be asked to be part of it was just so amazing and to do it. Um, well, I think what's one of the things that stands out to me is the whole concept of this story is really original. I mean, we've never yeah. seen anything like it before, have we? No, the subject matter's never been touched on ever before. And um, it's just, it's interesting. It was just really interesting to, to do something that was involving that and so many other sides of things. And I think the meaning behind the film as well, I just think it's really interesting. I just think there's more to it than just the ridiculousness and the gore. With a lot of horror films as well, there is that subtext, isn't yeah, there? That there's some sort of social commentary and, and social conscience, actually. And I yeah. think this film also covers that, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it will be interesting to see what the edit's like, because I have not seen it yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't know, so you know what happens to me. I know what happens to me, because I was in it, but... Uh... <laughs> You never know, do you? But you don't know what they use in the end. It's like, oh, That's true. and you know, they could have hired another actress to do something that I didn't know. Oh, I don't remember doing that scene. Did I? Actually, that's the brave thing about the difference between acting for stage and acting for camera, isn't it? That you are never in control of the end product. That is the director's call. No, you don't know what's. Oh, you don't know what you're going to get, and then you've got to sit there and watch a big face on the TV, or, or I mean, in my case now on on a large screen, which I've never seen before, maybe once or twice, but that's it. Tell me, what was it about the script? Yeah. Just couldn't put it down. Well, it's. A lot of it is uh, slapstick comedy, sort of like um, like the Benna Hill type stuff. Uh, but it was amazing to do, and a lot of my acting was actual genuine expression. You know, like when the babies come out and you've not seen them, um, and they come out and they're all in nappies and these fully grown men, and you're a bit like, oh my god, you know, like it's genuine expression. But it was really fun to do, and I worked with some amazing people, some people that I wouldn't have even dreamed on working with. Um, but yeah, it was a great experience for me and uh, working with Dom as well. And you actually shot in the state, you stayed in the stately home as well, is that right? Yeah, it was a British stately home. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it was it was massive. It was ginormous and we was all walking on eggshells because all the other people were like, don't touch this, don't touch that. Make sure you got gloves on. And we're like, we're filming, you know, you can't put gloves on. But uh, it was really good. It was fun. It was all part of the experience. I was wondering the kind of uh, uh, research that you went into yourself to find out more about this kind of subculture like to dress up as babies. Well, it, it's it's a real thing, you know, like and it, it's massive in America, um, and it's actual actually based around like mental illnesses and stuff like that, and because it's a real thing, you sort of put yourself into it a lot more because. As much as everyone laughs at it and it's a bit of a joke and then the, 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 with people being out there that actually are like that, you know, you sort of have to put yourself in that, that ship of people as well and try and understand it a bit better. Um, but I got thrown in last minute, Dom rang me and he was like, I want you to be in this film. So I was like, oh, right, okay. So it was all last minute for me. <laughs> you know, what was it about your character that you that you wanted to play? What you liked about playing? Um, well, my character was one of the nurses, uh, and I'm one of the survivors as well. Um, and it was, I think for me, it was just blending into the background for me because it's all this is all very new. Uh, I come from a background of modelling and uh, creative directing, so being on that side of the camera for a long time, not just click, click, click. You know, it's completely different. So um, I enjoyed playing uh, the character I was uh, because it was quite reserved character she was sort of dwelled into the backgrounds but she's there you can see her and I'm still shell shocked at the fact so I'm like that's me on the picture that's me but yeah it was really good it was fun